The in-ratio 2 PT monitor has an LCD display, setup button, OK button, memory button, up and down buttons, test strip guide, sample light, power supply jack, data port, battery door, battery door release. The in-ratio 2 PT monitor uses standard AA alkaline batteries or a power supply. Follow these steps to install the monitor batteries. Turn the monitor upside down so that the bottom is facing you. Remove the battery door by pressing down on the battery door release. Insert four standard AA batteries. Replace the battery door. Power from a standard wall outlet can be used to power the monitor instead of using battery power. To use a power supply, plug it into the in-ratio 2 and a wall jack. Do not use any other power supply with the in-ratio 2 PT monitor or you may damage the system. Turning the monitor on and off. Press and hold the OK button to turn the monitor on. To turn the monitor off, press and hold the OK button for about two seconds. Follow these steps to perform a test. Press and hold the OK button to turn the monitor on. The monitor will begin preparing for a test for a few seconds. The monitor will then prompt you to insert a test strip. Remove a fresh test strip from its foil pouch. Insert it into the test strip guide so that the clear end with the vertical contact bars goes in first. On the blue end of the strip, you should be able to read the word in ratio appearing from left to right. Match the code on the monitor display with the strip code on the test strip pouch or strip container. If the codes match, simply press the OK button while OK is flashing on the display. If the codes do not match, use the up and down buttons to change the first digit of the code which will then be flashing. Press the OK button to accept the first digit and move to the next digit. Change each digit using the up and down buttons, then press the OK button to accept each digit and move to the next digit. After setting the fifth digit, OK will begin flashing on the display. If the code is correct, press the OK button to store the code in the monitor. The monitor will count down for a few seconds and display the temperature symbol as it warms up for the test. The monitor display will prompt you to apply a blood sample when it's ready to perform a test. Increase blood flow in your fingers by warming your hand, wash in warm water or use a heating pad or hand warmer, gently massaging your finger. Identify a site on your fingertip to puncture. Choose a middle finger on either hand, an area near the top of the finger to either side of center, an area away from any calluses or scars. Clean the selected area with 70% isopropyl alcohol or an alcohol solution. Dry thoroughly with gauze. The Lancet device you are using may look different than the one shown here. Healthcare professionals should always wear gloves when performing a finger stick on a patient. Puncture your fingertip. Follow the instructions that came with the Lancet device to puncture the fingertip. Apply gentle continuous pressure until a large hanging drop of blood forms. Apply the hanging drop of blood to the sample well on the test strip. Make sure you apply the sample directly over the green light. Do not move the monitor or your finger as you apply the sample. Hold gauze over the puncture site until the bleeding stops. Your test result will appear on the monitor display along with the date and time. Dispose of all used materials into a sharps or other puncture-proof container.